I've been wanting to drop the kayak in this location for quite a while. Uh, so this is gonna be fun for me. It should be really pretty. Uh, it should be a bit of an adventure. Uh, something a little bit different this time, as I've got a guess. We shall make our introductions. And uh, see what happens. So, I'm with my favorite person in the world. Everybody, this is June. Uh, say hi. hi. Yeah. So I'm going to have to tell you sometime about our first date. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody can top that one. Maybe not. I think we were the first. Yeah, I think. Uh, the stealth camping. Right, before stealth camping was an actual term, I believe. So, uh, we've been kayaking before on the Chicago River. Right. Yeah, well, every Chicago. other time. And frankly, I didn't like it. I, I thought I, it was cool. I loved well, it. Well, I, did, I, I didn't like and the, the view of all the tall buildings while well, you're so small. I like the ride. I didn't. I, I didn't like the. I didn't like uh, the two person. The, in the toxic kayak. water. No, the two. <laughs> <laughs> no, the two. No, the two. The two person kayak thing. It just seemed cumbersome. But that was my first time on a kayak too. Every other time I've just been solo. It's just years later. Years later. Anyway, let's get on this. This guy on the murder hornet. Do it. Do it. Okay, got the murder hornet all ready to go here. Got a little uh, gear raft going on there. Right, uh, last time that one was, uh, was used, it was uh, holding my camera when I was doing that waterfall video. Jump in. Jump in. Oh, and I can put my feet, well, I'm oh, I was gonna try under here. On this little trek, we're starting out the Graham Creek Niche Preserve Kayak Launch down a meandering bayou out into Wolf Bay and ending up at the Wolf Creek Kayak Launch. It's barely about four miles on the route traced on this map, but things got interesting as we left the bayou and got out into the bay. I'll put up another map a little later showing exactly what we did. I hope you stick around and watch it. Talk about working your abs. Ah, uh, cool. All right, we took a uh, took a little detour off the main channel, getting back into the uh, narrow. doesn't want to go there. It'll be another day. All right. Turn around there. Been a pretty neat outing so far. I was telling June this is uh, a lot wider water than it used to be in, and uh, 
it's usually a lot more twisty turny, a lot faster moving. I mean, not rapid or anything like that, but uh, but but it's been cool. We pulled over here in this little beach here, a uh, little bit of sand. I'm sitting on some uh, wrecked dock from the hurricane, I presume. But uh, yeah, we've seen this dolphin breaching. It make a big splash. Of course, I'm missing him. It's pretty cool. She was just asking me, "Where's all the wildlife, Nate?" I'm like, "Oh," <laughs> I'm saying, "You know, it, it's really good at running away from you." You know, but uh, yeah, we've seen the seen this guy. And crabs. Crabs. That's yeah, yeah. We pulled over. Big crabs. Yeah, we we pulled ashore and yeah. Not was, like in your pants. Crabs, like these blue like crabs. crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> so. Well, it's pretty open water here right now. We're kind of at the mouth of the bayou. We're gonna cross this. It looks to be about a mile. We're gonna stick to the shoreline right there and uh, make it into Wolf Creek. And I think we'll be out of the breeze once we get to that other shore. So we were crossing that water right there. We're kind of headed in the, uh, we're kind of overshooting our mark. So fortunately we get to backtrack a little bit, put the wind at our backs. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good going the rest of the way. Truth be told, this, this craft isn't really meant for water like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant for more, uh, more, more placid oh, and Oh, you mean gentler. it's supposed to be this way? Too happy are you, big guy? Yeah, continuing to uh, misjudge distances and stuff like that, we're having to struggle more than we thought against the current. It doesn't take much current to slow this vehicle down because it's wide and bulky and it's not very anyway. sleek. You know, the day's not getting late. We could be in a worse location. Stop for some lunch back here. Good deal. So this is what we ended up doing. Once we hit the bay, we didn't veer north when we should have, and after paddling against Wolf Creek's current and into the wind, we realized what we did, and we had to turn around and paddle back. The next thing we did is take our next turn too early, which brought us into the area where we took our lunch and where we saw the uh, angry heron and uh, that osprey there. Well, after getting out of there, we headed up north toward Wolf Creek Kayak Launch where we got stuck in some mud for a few minutes. Unfortunately, I have no video of that. But eventually we made it to the lagoon at Wolf Creek Launch. I figure our foibles and forays added another mile or so to the day, but hey... It's all good. <laughs> Did it go by you? Yeah, yeah, right through the shot. It's like, that was great. We'll do that again. Alright, well deflating the uh, Intex here and I'm seeing these uh, like, like little blisters or something here. I've never seen anything like that before. Not so much on this side, but on this side. This side seems to be a lot more inflated. I'm wondering if this is seeing the end of its useful life. Material is coming delaminated or something. I don't know. All right, how was that for you? Who me? Yeah, you. <laughs> it was good. I did like the um, open water with a strong current yeah. currents, but yeah. I loved in the um, in the other areas where we saw the dolphins. So. Yeah, dolphins in this part. Yeah, that was awesome. Picked a cool spot for lunch. That's pretty nice. Which way did we turn? Uh, I think we came from that way.
Yeah. yeah so it looks like uh, yeah, it was a pretty good time. It was it was pretty hard out there in the open water. We had minimal chop. That's what we would call minimal chop, but it was rough. And then the breeze it just made it for hard <clears throat> paddling, right? And yeah, yeah. she's got blisters. Nick, she got, well, Nick gave me some tape. Yes. So I could continue. That's a survival gorilla tape, so <laughs> some could survive that. No, we can't get it off. No, that, that's the tough part. And, uh, yeah, so the Intex, we lost our skiff. We got oh. stuck in the mud at one point, and uh, I think when we dragged out of there, we, uh, I was like more stuck in the mud than anything. Right. The mud went to my, past my knees. Yeah, but when we pulled that, yeah, <laughs> I, I thought it was but when we pulled the kayak out, I think we lost the skiff. And then one of our seats ripped, and then you saw those blisters on the hull there. That's not too cool. I don't think that's the end of the story for the thing, but uh, I guess maybe some girl with tape, but it can still be too beautiful, right? Anyway, that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. You don't do something. Bye.